instructions for submitting cases to the lab using the lab request form. Please note, the lab request form does not replace submitting the written laboratory work authorization form that you currently use. You will still use the prescription form. To enter a case using the lab request form, open the lab request form, open your web browser, and enter this address to go to the lab request form. This is an internal web address for the university, so this will only work if you are connected to the university's network. To log in, enter your email address and your password. The very first time you log in, your password will be password. Once you log in for the first time, you may change your password. So we've entered the email address password, select login. And then to change your password, go to the accounts button and click on accounts. This takes you to your user detail page. Under current password, key in your current password, which is password. Enter your new password, confirm your new password, and select save. To enter a case in the system, select new case. If the case that you are entering is already in the system because it's a stage, or you've already done work with this patient and the patient's name is already in the system, you may search for the patient name. You can search for the patient either using the patient name or using the patient's record number. Here we can see I have several patients with 123 in the record number. If the patient that I'm looking for is here, I can simply highlight the patient and click. I can also search for a patient using their name. And again, if the patient that I'm looking for is in this list, I can simply select the patient. If the patient is a new patient or they're not already in the system, select new to enter a new patient. Under the patient area, you will enter the patient's record number, the patient's last name, the patient's first name, oops, the patient's date of birth and the DOB field. You can use the calendar or you can free type in this field. And you can tab over to the next field. In the next field, you want to enter the gender of the patient and save. Now that you've saved your patient information, you will move on to the next area. Under the general heading, select the lab that you are submitting the case to, the girls lab or the boys lab. In this example, we're sending the case to the boys' lab. The arrival date is the date that the case will arrive in the lab. You can use the calendar to select your date. In the patient appointment field, enter the date the patient is appointed for their next visit. And select done. If you are a student and your work requires authorization, use the Authorized By drop-down to choose your authorizer. You can start typing your authorizer, or you can scroll down to find your authorizer. Under Procedures, you're going to add the procedures that you're ordering for this phase of the case. When you select Add, a Procedure Details pop-up screen appears. Under Procedure Selection, you will select the procedure that you are ordering. 
you'll notice that there's an area called preparation. And underneath that area, you have all of your prep work listed. We have a fixed heading, which then has fixed work underneath of it. There is a removable heading. And there is also an ortho, a pedo ortho heading. In this example, it's the very first time we've seen the patient. So we want to order our preparatory work. So I'm going to order a primary model for fixed. If I like to order, uh, if I like to enter uh, information for the teeth, I can do that. I can put in the tooth number, I can put in the shade. I can also put in any notes about this product if I like. I'm just going to select OK. In addition to the primary model, I also want to do a custom tray. So I will add again. And then I will select custom tray for fixed in this list. And again, I'll say OK. Scrolling down the screen. I do have the ability to enter notes about the case. I can also enter documents and I can send messages back and forth to the lab, but I cannot enter documents or send messages until the case has been saved. So now I'm going to select save. When I select save, I get a pop-up screen that says contacting the lab, please wait. Once the case has been successfully sent to the lab, this next pop-up screen will appear that says case details successfully sent to the lab. If you select OK, now you can see uh, the lab has received the case, it has a case number in the lab, and the status of the case is submitted. Once the lab starts working on the case, the status will change to in progress. Now that I have saved the case and I do have a case number, I can scroll back down the screen. And if I wish to add documents or send a message to the lab about the case, I can do that. If you want to attach a document, simply select Browse to add a document. And then browse out to the appropriate location, to pictures, or your desktop, wherever you have the photos stored or whatever document you're adding, and simply attach the file. If you select Home, this will take you to a list of all of the cases that you currently have submitted in the lab. In this example, we can see there are several cases that have been submitted. We have a case in production, and we have a case on hold that is waiting in our that is awaiting an articulator. If I want to look up information about an existing case that we see in this list here, or I want to send a message to the lab about a case, I simply double click on the case number, and it will open those case details for me. And then, like I said, if you want to order enter a message. You can come down here and message the lab and save. Now, going back to the home screen, we will see on the home screen, you have a list of your current cases. And if we scroll down, you can see that you can also see any of the messages that you've sent back and forth with the lab about your cases. If you have more cases to enter, simply go back to the top here and you're going to add a new case. Once you are finished, Simply sign out, and this will take you back to the login page. This is how you will be entering cases and submitting them to the lab. Thank you for your time and attention.